what's going on guys welcome back to another brand new android studio tutorial and today in this video i will show you that how to integrate add mob interstitial add into our android app so in the last tutorial we have learned about using the add mob banner ad and uh, we learned about inter integrating that ad into our android app so today in this video i will show you that how to integrate add mob interstitial add into our android app so as usual what we have done in the previous activity we have to just go to the browser and uh, open the apps.admob.com and in case if you are just watching this particular tutorial and if you are not a subscriber to my channel and uh, you don't know how to get started if so it's pretty easy all you have to do is simply type apps.admob.com and from that window you have to just sign up or sign in if you have a Admo adsense if you're an adsense publisher then you can just simply sign in using that adsense email id and once you're in this window all you have to do is click on the apps then create a new app if you're my channel viewer then and you're watching this tutorial just after the previous one then we have the admob ads and this is my project name that i have given so select your project name and your particular application that you just created in the last tutorial open that and inside that what you have to do is simply select the add units and now you have to click on the add and add units and from there you have to select the interstitial add i'm going to select that one giving the name as interstitial add and clicking the cell and now copy this add unit id and click on the done now just close the browser come back into this android studio and as we have done same as what we have done in the ad view we have to just introduce that industrial ad so industrial ad giving the, the variable name as industrial itself and equal to then we have no find view by id we have done nothing for this industrial ad in the main activity in this activity underscore main.xml so what we are going to do is that equal to then new then interstitial add and inside this bracket all you have to do is we have to just add the context so the context is going to be just get activity or main activity dot class or just simply this and if this is not working and if it is showing any kind of errors you can replace it with main activity or the activity name that you are showing this ads in and you can also try the get application context so i'm going to give the get application context for and because this is going to work in most of the cases and uh, finally what you have to do is if you're using a fragment and if you're trying to add this interstitial ad inside the fragment then you can simply add it as view or get activity and uh, yeah that's it now closing it using the semicolon and next what we have to do is we have to simply specify the uh, add unit id so i'm typing interstitial then low i mean set add unit id now we have to create a new add unit id inside the string so i already just created one i will be deleting this and uh, manually creating a new one so all you have to do is simply create a new string i'm giving it as add, add then underscore interstitial and closing it now in in between these two tags all we have to do is we have to paste the co code that we add unit id that we just copied from the admob website i'm pressing here and once that done closing the strings and now what we have to do is get string inside this bracket we have to type get string then r dot then string dot then add underscore interstitial and once that done we have to just add the ad listener for this interstitial ad in order to check the ad is loaded and if it is displaying or if it is selected if it is just what we say is closer or if it is failed to open and something like that so what we are going to do is we have to simply type for interstitial dot set ad listener and new then add listener and now what you have to do is after these two uh, what we say just brackets we have to just add the curly braces so I'm, I'm just giving a space and just opening the curly braces and just between this I'm keeping the I'm just keeping the arrow at this at this between these two curly braces and simply uh, pressing the ender on the keyboard which will bring it something like this and once that done simply press ctrl o on the keyboard to bring up this small window to select the methods you can also get it by just right clicking on the, this area and uh, selecting the generate 
and from here you can just override the method you can select it and for easy method you can just press ctrl o on the keyboard and now we have to just open all these things i'm going to bring all these things and uh, the most important one is that it won't add loader and uh, but if you want to go more advanced and if you want to get all this all the things and uh, check whether the ad, ad is clicker and uh, ad impression and many other things if, if you want to go and uh, get all the details then you can select all and uh, what we have to do in order to select all these in is that select one of them uh, maybe at the top or the bottom I'm going to select the top then and then keep pressing the shift on the keyboard I'm going to select the bottom one which is the last one now it will be selected all these items now clicking the ok and there we go we have the one add closer one add failed to load one add left the application one add open blah 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 many other things so the most important one is this one this is the one add loader we have to check whether the ad is loaded and if it is loaded we have to just give uh, just show the ad to the audience so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the toss for each of the items so that we can understand whether the ad is closer whether the ad is failed to open so i'm adding a toss so toss selecting the second one which is easy method and adding it as add closer now copying the same toast pasting it in the second one one add failed to load uh, so i'm going to replace the closer with uh, failed now in this third one we have to replace the add closer with add left add maybe add select here so the add will be left only if it is selected so that is correct now in this case i'm going to just replace the closer with open op, open it now add loader so this is the most important one as i said before add loader then add clicker okay so clicker then add impression add imp i don't know what i actually mean by the add impression but maybe it's kind of uh, the ad is actually shown and uh, uh, the user is actually uh, just noticed the ad maybe like that so anyway add impression okay so now what we are going to do is that everything is okay but we have to actually display the ad so inside this one add loader i have to just add some other lines maybe like um, interstitial dot set uh, maybe load load add then add request now yeah we have to just add the same thing before this one so interstitial oops interstitial then load add add request so uh, in the previous tutorial we have just created the add request with the variable name as add request itself so we are using the same add request in both of the banner and interstitial add so that is uh, advantages of the java programming we have to simply specify one one time and we can use it again and again so add request is something like why we just create the methods inside the java programming so anyway i'm just loaded the interstitial add using this add request and what we have to do next is that finally uh, it, it's not necessary to add the add request twice so i'm going to remove it from here and now interstitial then show so this is most important code of this interstitial ad. So once the ad is loaded, we have to make sure the ad is public and the ad is visible to each of the users. So we have to add this line inside this one ad loaded method. So yeah, we are ready and now let's go and try this in a real Android device. Okay guys, so we have the Android app in the Android device and everything is well placed and it's take a little bit time to load the interstitial ad comparing to the banner ad so but the banner ad is pretty much easy to just load inside the android app and now we have the interstitial ad for the safety i just blurred the ad for and uh, otherwise I, I, there will be a chance of getting my ads and second blocker for that issue so i just blurred the ad and you can see it is working perfect you can just try it with your own android studio and your own android app as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video